Hi guys, welcome to 5 Axes Make a Case Study Zero, Part 5, Tutorial and Blend. So what is Blend? Well, Blend is a full 5 axis simultaneous finishing strategy in Fusion 360 that works with NURBS. Usually NURBS come as a step file, mesh as an SDL. We'll go over the setup in separate video, but generally when we create a machining setup in manufacture space, it's important to make sure coordinate system is in the same place relative to the stock, both in CAM as well as in your machine. Blend is normally invisible. To be able to see blend in text commands, type cam dot better mode slash on. Make sure to type as in text, not as a Python. This will unlock some of the invisible options. Under 3D strategies, select blend. Now let's dive in. Select your tool in your tool library and we use formula blend. Make sure you measure your tools. Start with conservative speeds that later on you can dial in. Geometry tab. You've got drive surfaces and drive curves. Select a surface, make sure it's a NURB surface, not a mesh. Select two edge curves. We need to select two opposite edges of the surface between which the toolpath will be created. Click and hold on the curve until pop-up appears. This will let you select specific segments of the curve. Once done, press the green plus to add this as the first curve to your selection. Repeat for the second curve. Tool orientation, set X axes, we can use model coordinate system or we can use an edge to specify arbitrary direction. Origin must be set up as model origin. It is very important to set tool orientation right. It isn't going to affect your tool orientation during the cut, but it affects how tool leads in and out. Next, onto clearance heights. As long as the top plane above the surface and the bottom one is below, you're good for this operation. Passes tab, we use bi-directional step over, both ways direction. Very important to turn on multi-axis. Minimum and maximum tilt is a value relative to coordinate system, and effectively it's relative to Z orientation. This is something that can be changed to avoid collision. Forward and sideways tilt is an inclination relative to the surface, which discussed in flow tutorial. Linking. Choose shortest path for retraction policy to reduce spindle time in the air. When using Firebox Maker specifically, we found that using high feed makes the transitions really smooth. Transition type smooth, as it's an important one for a finishing strategy. Before you can refine all of the settings, click OK and simulate. And this is a very good example of controlling minimum and maximum tilt. We had real collision during test runs, so we ended up limiting minimum and maximum tilt between 0 and 70 degrees. Tilt of the tool is relative to coordinate system. It's relative to Z orientation. So effectively, what it does, it limits tilt to 70 degrees to avoid the collision. It starts with 0. And as it, as it climbs down, you can see that it finishes at 70 degrees. Tilting tool provides better cutting performance as you cut with the side of the tool. It gives you better surface finish, better chip evacuation. We come back to forward and side with tilt in the flow tutorial. We are very excited for the new 5 axis strategies, those can be really powerful. This was our take on Fusion 360 Blend, we we'll look forward to seeing you soon.